Nicholas Roland Payen was born in France in 1914 and developed an early interest in aviation. By the 1930s, he began focusing on the use of delta wings, as well as canard configurations and elliptical aerodynamic surfaces. Throughout his life, Payen designed a large number of aircraft in various configurations, but despite the prolific nature of his research, only two were built before the end of World War II. Both used Payen's Fletcher configuration, an English abbreviation for avion hetch or aeroplane, which consisted of a trapezoidal forewing equipped with ailerons and a rear triangular wing with horizontal control surfaces. Since Payen had little personal funding for his projects, he had to rely on his ability to interest people to gain access to materials, wind tunnel time, and other resources to build his aircraft. Undoubtedly, the nature of his projects made it difficult to sell them to the more conservative aviation industry. The Payen Pa 100 Fletch Volante, Flying Arrow, was his first built aircraft. The Payen Pay 100 was intended to participate in the Coupe Deutsche de la Meurthe race. Payen planned to temporarily use a 180 horsepower Regni R6 engine, but the engine was later returned. He then wanted to acquire a larger engine, a 380 horsepower seven cylinder radial Gnome Roan 7KD Titan Major, but it was too large for the PA 100. Payen had to seek donations, which he received, and rebuilt the PA 100 to fit the 7KD engine, thus creating the PA 101. Unfortunately for Payen, the PA 101 did not meet expectations. It took to the air on April 17, 1935, but on April 27, during a hard landing, it broke the left landing gear strut, causing a fire that destroyed a significant part of the POT 101. As a result of the accident, flight insurance was canceled, and Payan went to the Block factory to build a mock-up of the PA-112 fighter, which used a tandem installation of two 150-horsepower Samson engines in the fuselage. The beginning of World War II showed the French military's lack of interest in this project.